Hi, this is Dawn from DawnBDwyer.com. I'm an animal artist and author of my forthcoming book, What You'll Miss When Your Dogs Don't Sleep in Your Bed. And today I thought, I have to go pick up a painting, so I thought, oh, I'll give you a tour of my Pendleton Art Studio, which is the large one where I do the larger paintings. And it's kind of gallery-like, so we'll take a look inside. But in the meantime, here's the outside of the building. This building is eight stories tall. And there are hundreds of artists that are in this building. And every final Friday of the month, the studios are all open to the public so you can buy art and come in and just have a great evening. And my studio is on the second floor. So we're in the elevator and it's super cool. In fact, it's to me one of the scariest elevators I've ever been in. Reminds me of Disney World. <laughs> With the Tower of Terror. <laughs> oh, down to two. <laughs> but I had to take you for a little ride in it because it's just so cool. One of the fun parts about visiting the Pendleton is riding in the elevator. And here's our floor. Thank you. So let me take you for a tour of my Pendleton Art Studio. So here we are at the entrance and I have a window so people can view in. And let's take a tour inside. Oh look, we have people here and they're happy to see us. Allie and Keiko, yay, we got company, so let's take our tour. The Pendleton Studio, this one is more of, I'm just actually just getting it ready for a show, so um, that's why I'm here today. But I'll just kind of walk you, I'll, I'll give you a, a quick tour. Um, in the back, I actually have a guest artist. His name is Henry Mogger, and he does woodwork, and his display is not there yet. It'll be there Friday. But just to give you a quick little tour, uh, the studio space is about, I think, 15 by 24, something like that. So let me, um, I'll just start right here. So we have this painting, which is called Watching You. And this one is of my dog, Allie, which, Allie, she is right here. That's Allie. This is a painting of Allie. And you can see her here with her painting. Right, Al? You kind of look like that, don't you? Um, this one is of, actually of a model. And um, the, the camera and the lighting isn't working real well, but it's more of a dramatic type painting. And that's a photograph of Alan right there that I did the painting from. But perhaps these, I don't know. Looks better in life than it does on this camera, so we'll see. Aspen, which the name of the painting is Happy for No Reason. And over here we have some fish that are in progress. And this is a painting called Chilling at Petra Hughes Falls. And I was actually at this place and um, the water was just so amazing. The color in the falls and the uh, just the way the water was like misting up. I knew I was going to do a painting of it when I was there. So the Petra Hughes, Petra Hughes Falls is actually in Chile. And over here we have some of the woodwork. Th these are some ducks that he carved, but he does beautiful boxes. And here's a chicken, which you can see the profile of it, but it, the woodwork is just, it's truly amazing how he, he puts these things together. This might be a better view, I'm not sure. And he also did this cradle wood cradle, which uh, there's a baby in it right now, but man, it would be an awesome dog bed. 
And this is a painting that I'm going to be doing a demonstration with on Saturday. But it is, uh, the name of it is Daybreak on the Farm. And it was inspired from this photo. And it was a day that I spent at a horse farm. And this horse was just really touched me and so I wanted to paint it. And then this is a famous area in Cincinnati called Eden Park. And so this is a painting of Eden Park. I call it photo op at Eden Park. That's I couldn't believe it when I was doing this painting there were at least ten people that sat on that rock and people came and took their photograph. And so <laughs> I had to put a person in there with a camera because so many people took photographs of it. And then this is a painting that I did in Cal when I, while I was in California and I was studying under Susan Sarbach who actually is fourth in the lineage of Monet. You know, studying from Monet. And so it's rather interesting because I thought, wow, so I'm fifth in the lineage of Monet. And then this painting, I'm actually picking this up paint today and I'm going to get this one framed. And this is called Looking to the Light. And this is actually not the original painting. This is a giclée. And so I sold the original and so I'm now getting a frame for that giclée and I'll be showing it. This is another one that was painted in California. Again, in the style of Monet. I'm not saying I'm as good as Monet. And this painting was also inspired when I was in South America. And this is called Endless Possibilities. And what is really cool about this painting for me and why I painted it is that when you're looking out over that ocean, it's like you have endless possibilities that you can choose to do with your life and even with what you do. And this person happened to take their shoes off and run into the water. I was on a group tour and I didn't. So I thought, wow, you know, the world ha offers endless possibilities in it, and it's a matter of what you choose to do with them. And um, I wish I'd gotten my feet wet that day, but I didn't do it. I was worried about being late. <laughs> so I thought that would be a good title for that painting. This is looking to the light also, but this one I think is kind of interesting. I, I, this is giclée on metal, and it actually has a 3D effect. There's like a space right in here, and then it's mounted on a flat painted metal with kind of like brown scratches on it. So it has like a little interesting look, and I think that's really cool. And then this one is a study that I did of a painting called Remembering Asia. And so, here's a little close-up view of this one. And then last we have Puppy Siesta. And this one I was painting in the Monet style. Um, it was just done with a palette knife and I was, I had just gotten back from California and I had seen these puppies when I was in Mexico and I, um, was inspired to do this painting just with a palette knife. So that was the challenge on this one, was to do it just with a palette knife. And I think they're kind of cute. They just kind of melted into the ground. There's the pups. And so that concludes our tour of the Pendleton Art Center, my larger studio, my working studio for the large painting. And it's interesting as I've been talking, my girls are being really good. They're laying on the floor. I told them that they couldn't come with me anymore if they weren't quiet. And I think they're taking that pretty serious today. So they're being really good. So we'll end at that and I'll go off to the framers. Mm -hmm.